okay in the last video we did our descent uh, planning a little bit of calculation and this commenced our descent we passed 10,000 feet we did our uh, 10,000 feet procedures and we transitioned from star to the approach so uh, similarly right now I'm just approaching Ahmedabad uh, for ILS one two three and I'm on a radar heading and the next step is passing transition level where we change our altimeter settings from QNE to QNH if you want to know the different uh, altimeter settings I've made two short video clips uh, which is already there I'm putting the link in the description you can go through it so anyways I'm below 10,000 feet 10,000 feet procedures have been completed a recommended ICAO approach speed gates uh, which basically says below 10,000 feet 250 knots 250 knots is the maximum we can maintain below 10,000 feet and then once you're within 25 miles of the airport you reduce speed to 10 knots and then it says 180 knots till 10 miles and then 160 till 4 that's a very standard uh, ICAO speed gates and more or less you will see that all the airports all the radar vectors are based on these speeds only transition level for Ahmedabad is uh, flight level 55 that's where we switch over to QNH all right so approaching uh, flight level 55 transition level and uh, ready the speed to 210 knots and if you don't uh, change over to QNH the standard starts blinking on the PFD it's basically it's reminding you QNH 1002 approach checklist barrel reference QNH 1002 seat belts on minimums Barrel 430 is set. Auto brake low. Engine mode selector normal. Approach checklist is complete. It's a little modified version of the approach checklist from the previous one. This is where uh, we start slowing down to 180 knots, but I'm maintaining 210. Let's extend the flaps, but uh, for extending flaps, activate approach phase. Okay, the question comes in uh, when do you activate approach phase? Well, the book says 15 minutes before touchdown, you do that. Or uh, on the route, you'll have an FMGS calculated approach phase point. It looks like this. It's a magenta D. So reaching that point, the approach phase is activated automatically. Or anytime the ATC wants you to slow down below the green dot speed, the only way to do that is take flaps, but always activate approach phase and then take flaps because that's when you can manage your speed. So the FMGC will directly go to the uh, recommended speed for that flat setting but i'm entering 210 knots now now let's turn uh, towards the intercept heading let's arm the localizer lock blue speed all star all right let's descend to 2000 feet Thrust idle, open descent, all blue 2000. I'm reducing speed to 180 knots now. This is 180 to 10. I have maintained high speed uh, so that we can finish early. Alright, let's take flaps 2. Localizer live, lock star, arm the approach, autopilot 2, KGS blue, cat 3 dual, autopilot 1 plus 2 on the FMA. Ideally, we should have been at 160 miles, uh, 160 knots. Okay, GS star, missed approach altitude, 2100. I know, correction, it's 2000. Okay, now managing speed, gear down. Speed brake is on, runway turn off lights, nose wheel lights. Once the gears are down, flaps 3. Flap full, once the flaps are full, landing checklist. 
Now they changed the landing checklist from the last one. Now it is just one one line. Ecam memo. Landing no blue. Landing checklist complete. One thousand. Thousand feet stabilized. Five hundred feet checked. Hundred above. Hundred above check. Land. Minimum. Minimums continue. Yeah, although I'm maintaining the glide, but the puppy says hi. Anyways, going visual now. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Five. Touchdown. Speed breaks up. Oops. That was a box. Reverses. Normal. Diesel. Nice landing. Approaching 70 knots on reverse. And there's an after landing flow pattern. It goes like this. But all of it to be done only once you've cleared off the runway. So there's no need to hurry up with the, the up landing procedures. Then you call for the after landing checklist. Only one line for after landing checklist. After landing checklist. Radar and predictive wind shear. Off. After landing checklist complete. Keep approaching the bay. You put the forward facing lights off. Parking brake is set. APU is available. Take the APU bleed. And engines, and engines can go off. Doors disarmed, beacon light will go off. This is when the aero bridge and the ground crew can move towards the airplane once the beacon is off. Okay, once the chocks are in place, the seat belts goes off, fuel pumps off. And we do the parking checklist. Parking checklist goes as follows. Parking brakes or chocks is set. Engines off. Wing light off. Fuel pumps off. Parking checklist complete.
securing the aircraft checklist oxygen off emergency exit light off efbs off batteries off securing the aircraft checklist complete so that's it for this video about approach and landing and i'll catch you all in the next one ciao